Just waiting for this truck to go. If you want to do your own puppet show, then you should watch the video. Coming up at the end of this song, it's called Matthew Robbins. Just make your own something very far away. Two. Welcome to part two of my Make Your Own Something Very Far Away Puppet Puppet Along. Now I'm going to show you how to make the head. Check out part one if you want to look at what materials we're using to make these things from. But for the head you'll need some grey board, you'll need to go and turn on the glue gun, and you need the rest of the dial that we cut at the beginning, a bamboo skewer, if I think of anything else I'll tell you. If you didn't watch part one, then you probably should go and watch that first. I think it's here. Maybe it's here. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Here. Um, okay. I'm making um, human beings for this play show. But obviously it could be whatever you wanted as a little frame. And then we're going to papier-mâché on top of that to build up the shape of the head. To start off we need to have a pivot so the head can nod and so you need to drill a little hole in one end of your dowel. This is about a centimetre from the end and it's got to be just big enough that a little piece of skewer, this is like a barbecue skewer, can fit inside and turn easily. Then using strips of grey card and a glue gun we're going to build up a little cardboard frame with the ends of the skewer sticking out through it just about where the ears are going to be like this make a little hole here and here Leave a little bit sticking out for the ears, we can build the ears onto that. And then we just put some glue gun and then stop it slipping from side to side like this. We'll make some little cardboard guides, take a tiny scrap of card, put some glue on it, making sure the head's in the right place, stick it on to the bamboo skewer, making sure you don't get any glue inside the hole. And you do the same on the other side. Wiggle it around while it's drying so it doesn't stick to the actual dowel. And now we can carry on building up the head. You can do this any way you like really, there's no rules. But I find the easiest way is just to make a little frame like this out of card. I'm also just going to stick on a little bit of card now to make the shape of the nose. There's plenty of opportunities to refine all this and sculpt it as we go along. But it's sometimes good just to get the base of it vaguely how you want it. And then one more thing we're going to do is add this little bit of wire onto the back of the head. And that, that gives us control over the nodding. A strip of wire, twist a loop with enough left over on the other end and we can glue it on to here. Put some more hot glue, glue gun glue, on the top of the head at the back. Fix it on with it pointing down like that. You can always put some more card on top to hold that in place. And then these end bits we can just twist around inside, that gives us extra strength, so we know the wire is not going to go anywhere. Use the tool to help you. The stick is a bit too long, so we're just going to cut off about 
two inches, inch and a half. Do that up. Now this is the fun part where we get to actually begin to build up the character now. So it'll go from looking like this to this. For this part you'll need lots of newspaper cut into squares. Also some white glue and if you don't want to get in trouble then put something down on your work surface like some other newspaper or an old magazine so you don't get glue everywhere. Okay well I'm sure you know how to do papier mache because it's easy. Everyone knows how to do this. But just in case you've never seen this happen before, take your little squares of newspaper, get them nice and wet in the glue, layer them on to the frame, like this. We'll build up a few layers, and when this dries, it will make a nice hard surface that we can paint on. Using PVA glue like this is expensive if you buy it from art shops. So go to B&Q or Homebase or support your local hardware shop like I do. And you can buy it in big canisters and it's very cheap. And you'll probably find you use it in all your making projects. Some foxes, aliens, prop it up in something to dry like this. And just it's now time to make the ears. I'm going to cut out. Some little pieces like a capital D, and it's not much smaller than like a 5p, a 5 pence piece if you live in this country, England. I would normally put stick these on with the glue gun, but it's it's currently turned off. So it's fine, we can just stick them on with the PVA glue. We just won't, it'll just take a little bit longer for it to stay on. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to just papi mashi them on. I would advise cutting just some little smaller strips of newspaper. It's Deborah Meaden from Dragon's Den. Laughing. Deborah Meaden going on now. We can let these dry overnight and then tomorrow we can paint them and stick on the hair. painting the puppets, the first thing I like to do is to give it a coat of white paint, like this gouache, which covers up some of the newspaper. Sometimes I give it two coats. And if it's a human character I'm painting, I mix up a variety of different flesh tones on my palette, and then, um... Paint a white layer all over the head. This white is called zinc, it comes in a tin. Add to the white paint some yellow and red. This makes pink the colour of skin Use your finger to smear in some bits of blue and grey And when the paint is dry You can paint on each eye These are just two blocks of white Followed by two blocks of black Once the paint is fully dry You might want to give it a protective coat of varnish I use something like this spray varnish uh, It doesn't disturb the brushwork But if you've used something like acrylic paint that's okay And you can just use a varnish from a jar And now if you're giving your puppet hair Or if you're making like a fox or something You're going to glue fur on You can do that once the varnish is dry So I'm going to do that now Cut some short bits of gardening string It's rough and it's brown So it looks like hair 
can use two pipes and mix them both in. Be careful with scissors, don't cut off your fingers. Now you need to separate the individual strands. Rub glue onto the head and stay on each tiny thread. It can be quite long at this stage, we will cut it when the glue is fine.